What up YouTube mofos? In today's video I'm going to be doing a Carson Wentz Washington Commanders rebuild. So we're going to trade for Carson Wentz from the Indianapolis Colts and see what he can do with this new Washington Commanders football team. Looking at players that I'm able to re-sign, I'm definitely going to re-sign Brandon Scherf if he wants to come back off the lineman. See if we can get him on a three year deal. to the team everyone else there's a lot of guys but I really don't want to bring pretty much any of them back at all they're pretty much just a bunch of older guys that are aging fast and they all have normal dev so yeah they're definitely just not worth bringing back so, so in the actual trade the Washington commanders sent the Indianapolis Colts uh, two third round picks and a second round pick for Carson Wentz and the second round pick so I have it set up here and we're going to see if the game is actually going to let us make this deal. Done deal. All right. So here's a look at Carson Wentz in the game. His overall rating is a 73 and he has normal dev and he's 29 years old. So he really doesn't look like he's that great of a player in Madden obviously. He has 90 throw power, 82 deep accuracy, 79 medium accuracy and 87 short accuracy. Speed is 80. I don't really know how this is gonna go. It's probably not gonna go too well, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, so I'm switching the playbook on offense. We're gonna go with the Tampa Bay Bruce Arians playbook because it's a vertical zone run, and our team is the uh, best game fit for that right now. And on defense, I'm switching to Carolina's 4-3 defense, and we're 86% scheme fit with the base 4-3. Looking at the team right now before we go through free agency, uh, like the team's not completely terrible. I mean, the offensive line isn't the greatest. Uh, we definitely need help at right tackle. Logan Thomas is the Asian tight end, but he'll do for now. We got Curtis Samuel at wide receiver two. We got Antonio Gibson at running back. He's actually a pretty solid running back in real life. And McLaurin, Terry McLaurin, he's a superstar X Factor. And I think he's only like 24, 25, 25 years old. So he's definitely going to be the main number one target for the, this rebuild. On defense, the defense looks pretty pretty damn solid, really. Defensive line, definitely. Corner, we got uh, Fuller over here. We got William Jackson over here, cornerback two. Landon Collins at strong safety. We got Curl at free safety. Uh, we need help at left outside linebacker. And I guess we'll roll with Jamin Davis right now middle linebacker since he's uh, it's only going to be his second year and he still has time to develop so I'm going to be going after Rashawn Evans to play outside linebacker for us I know he's a middle linebacker but he's a run stopper and that's the scheme fit for the guy that we need at left outside linebacker a run stopper and all the guys that are available over here right now really aren't that good so I'm going to try to get him on a five-year deal. That'll make him 31 when the deal's over. And he'll just be a mainstay out there at the outside linebacker spot. Unless we come across a rookie or something and we can just trade him away. For the offensive line help that we need, we need another right tackle or a new right tackle. So I'm going to try to get Austin Corbett since he's a scheme fit. And move him to right tackle. See if he takes this offer. I'm going to bump it up a little bit more just to make sure that we get him. So only offered the, that one linebacker and then this guy and we got 12.7 million left in cap space so we're pretty much tapped out. Uh, Rashawn Evans accepted our offer at middle linebacker and I'm going to see what's going on with this offensive lineman because he didn't accept our offer yet but it didn't say he declined it so probably you know, the Bengals try to give him a bunch more money so we're going to have to throw a couple more hundred dollar bills at him back at the top by a lot so we'll see if we can get him yeah so we ended up getting Austin Corbett he accepted the contract so we're done with free agency now looks like we have somebody that we have to decide if we want to do a 50 year option on let's see what's going on with this real quick Montez Sweat he slated for a new contract but he almost brought almost no value to this team last year yeah, this is obviously uh, not realistic at all because Montez Sweat is legit, so we definitely want to bring him back. Do you want to go ahead and pick up his fifth-year option? Yes, please. Thank you very much. 
Liverpool will postpone his contract negotiations for one year. Nice. Here we are in the NFL draft. I'm going to go ahead and pause it and I'm going to skip ahead to our next uh, user pick and see what we got. Looking at the available prospects, we got Kenny Pickett here at quarterback. We got N'Kobe Dean at middle linebacker. We got Malik Willis. Really hard not to draft one of these quarterbacks, but this is a uh, Carson Wentz rebuild, so obviously we got to roll with him. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to draft. I want to draft N'Kobe Dean, but at the same time, we already have a, a young middle linebacker, so I think I'm going to go ahead and dra draft Ahmad Gardner, Sauce Gardner from Cincinnati. He's uh, probably the best cornerback in the draft coming out. So. And he has hidden dev, 93 speed, nice. Here in the second round of the draft, I'm going to draft this right tackle, Bernard Raymond. Because we need help on offensive line. And he has normal dev. Here we are in the fourth round of the draft. We did not have any third round picks because we had to trade this year's and next year's to Indianapolis to get Carson Wentz. But I'm going to go ahead and draft this strong safety Nick Cross from Maryland. He has B hit power, D man coverage, which is kind of terrible, but he does have a pretty good college pro day with the fastest 40 yard dash with 438 and uh, best vertical jump with 34.2. And he has hidden dead. Nice little fourth round pick. So I'll let the computer draft the last two picks that we had. And here is a look at the players. We got uh, Sauce Gardner here. He's 76 overall with Hidden Dev, 21 years old. He's got 93 speed and his man coverage is only 68. He's losing two due to something more uh, morale. Zone is down to 72. But he has a lot of potential. So I think it's going to be a main uh, factor in, in this rebuild here on our defense. Drafted this right tackle. He has no more Dev, but he's a 74 overall. And he's only 22 years old. So... That's a good offensive line uh, pick right there. And I drafted this safety, Nick Krause from Maryland. He has in the fourth round, and he has 73 overall rating. 21 years old with hidden dev, 90 speed with 72 zone coverage and 78 tackle. So that's definitely a great find in the fourth round. This is what the team looks like for the first season of the rebuild. Carson Wentz, 73 overall. You know, we, only thing that we really changed, we got right tackle Austin Corbett and free agency. On defense, we brought in Rashawn Evans with the outside linebacker. We got Landon Collins at safety, strong safety. This rookie is backing up both of the safeties over here. We got Sauce Gardner starting at cornerback too. And I think the defense is going to be the strength of this team. At the midseason point, we are 2-4. and four. Everyone else in the division is 3-4, and four, so we're only one game back. I guess, yeah, technically one game back says that we have an opportunity for a breakout player here so I'm gonna check this out Curtis Samuel get him three touchdowns or 150 yards rushing receiving yeah, highly unlikely players that are available to resign we have a, a few big names on here we got Terry McLaurin obviously we definitely want to bring him back five-year deal for the rest of the rebuild damn near a hundred million dollars exactly the offer he wanted he's coming back to Ron Payne I definitely most definitely want to bring him back but we most definitely don't have the money for it cap room is at zero now so it's the end of the regular season and we ended up going nine and eight finished second in the division and somehow some way we actually made it into the playoffs as the last seed in the NFC was a number seven seed playing against the Cardinals in the wild card round But first, let's check out how we did on our stats. We got the 11th ranked offense. Carson Wentz had the third most passing yards. 28th ranked defense. So I thought the defense was going to be carrying us, but it was actually the opposite. McLaurin had 1,200 yards, 13th in the league. All right, let's check out these players' stats here. Carson Wentz threw 4,900 yards, 37 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. And he had an insane year way better than I thought he would have Antonio Gibson didn't do too bad he had 1,000 yards 4.6 oh 18 touchdowns that's actually really damn good receiving McLaurin had 1,200 yards 10 touchdowns Curtis Samuel was one yard away from a thousand yards 
Logan Thomas, 992 yards. Kelvin Harmon and Deami Brown. So we had like one, two, three, four, five guys over 500 yards this season. That's pretty damn good. Check out the defense. Sauce Gardner led the team in tackles with 109. Let's go, beast over here. Sean Evans had 108. Cole Holcomb had 104. Jamin Davis had 101. Landon Collins even had 99. TFLs, Jonathan Allen had 15. Montez Sweat, 14. Chase Young had 10. We just didn't get any sacks at all, really, out of this defense. We had to change the defensive playbook from Carolinas to something else. Montez Sweat had 7.5. Deron Payne had 6. Chase Young, 4.5. Rashawn Evans, 4.5. Jonathan Allen, 4. Interceptions, we just had a bunch of guys with 1. Playoff time with Super Simmons. We're up 3 nothing in the first. Arizona got a safety. Now they're up 5 to 3. Now we're up 10 to 5. 12 to 10. Crazy score 15 to 10. 17 to 15. We're in the lead 24 to 15. Arizona's coming back 24 to 22. 31 to 22. We're up. It's a, such a close game coming down to the end. 34 to 29. We got the win in the wild card round. They must be pissed over there. Carson Wentz threw for 385 yards and a touchdown. Gibson's had, Gibson had three touchdowns rushing, but he didn't really do much besides that. Logan Thomas and Curtis Samuel had the best game for us receiving. Defense. Montez Sweat had three TFLs and the only sack, no interception. So looking at the playoff bracket here, since we beat Arizona, we're going to be playing against the number one ranked Minnesota Vikings. And down here we got the Green Bay Packers and the Buccaneers. So if we do somehow end up winning this game, we'll be playing against one of these two guys, Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady. All right, here we are simulating the, the playoff game. We're up three to nothing. Going into the second quarter, we're up 10 to nothing. Will there be an upset? 10 to seven, Minnesota's coming back. Still up 13 to 7. Third quarter is coming to an end. So fourth quarter now it's getting down to the nitty gritty. We're still up 13 to 7. It's all defense at this point. Minnesota takes the lead. I'm going into the game. We are on defense. This is not good. Oh, they're taking a knee. The clock's. We don't have any more timeouts, so the game's over. So. That's it. We lost the game. So the Browns ended up beating the Vikings in the Super Bowl. Nick Chubb won MVP of the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes won MVP of the regular season. Zach Taylor of the Bengals won Coach of the Year. Von Miller won Defensive Player of the Year with the Rams. Malik Willis won Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Lions. Looking at players that we can re-sign before the end of the season and free agency starts. But the problem is that we just don't have any cap space. So we'll try to bring Deron Payne back. Says that we can only offer him like $2 million a year salary, $2 million a year bonus. So. And I can try to offer it to him, but he ain't going to take it. He's testing out free agency. So, I mean, I guess I could franchise tag him for $20 million, but then our cap space is going to be ridiculously messed up. So I'm going to see if there's a way that we can re uh, release some funds. Maybe cut some bad contracts or something, but we'll see. I'm over here looking at the team salaries and the biggest saver that we can do is cut Carson Wentz but obviously we can't do that because this is his rebuild. This looking like I'm going to have to cut Landon Collins because he's going to free up 14 million dollars in cap space. So I'm going to go ahead and start with releasing him. And then we got, I'm not, I'm not going to cut Montez but I definitely want to keep him. William Jackson, Curtis Samuel. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about this. So uh, Sauce Gardner ended up just having star dev, and he's up to a 79 overall right now. I'm gonna check out the safety that we drafted. He's a star dev, so he's gonna be the new starter since we had to let uh, Landry go to free up some cap space. So over here in free agency looking around and the, pretty much the biggest hole that we have on the entire team that we can actually afford to do is 
right outside linebacker we have nobody so we're gonna have to bring Cole Holcomb back since we freed up some cap space and hopefully we have enough money to yeah I think we should be able to get him back on a three year deal since uh, he's a pass coverage uh, linebacker he fits the scheme that we run on our defense it's hard to find pass coverage linebackers in here I'm gonna jack him up a little bit more on the price make sure that it comes to us it's pretty much the only option that we got and then have pretty much no more money left in free agency so so Cole Holcomb ended up accepting our offer and that's gonna be it for our free agency we have somebody here that we can do a fifth year option on so I'm gonna click into it and see it's gonna be for Chase Young oh yeah I'm definitely gonna bring him back yep we're definitely gonna get him no question we'll postpone the negotiations for one year here we are in the draft and let's go ahead and skip ahead to the next user pick we got pick number 25 since we made it to the playoffs so since we, we uh, weren't able to bring back uh, Deron Payne at defensive tackle I'm looking at this defensive tackle Caleb Pippen who has B power moves we don't really know a whole ton about him well he has B power moves B play recognition B awareness but uh his uh, physical attributes he has an elite jumping elite speed and great strength pretty much first and everything on the pro day so I'm gonna go ahead and draft him because we need a defensive tackle so. and he has normal dev man All right. in the second round of the draft I've been looking through a lot of people and I'm gonna the guy that looks the best is this left tackle Jaden Dansby and he has hidden dev he had A lead block and B run block, C pass block. But hit and dev, 22 years old, good pick. This is what the draft class looks like. The first round pick, Caleb Pippen, has 74 overall with normal dev, but he's going to be the starter immediately. And then this left tackle, Jaden Dansby, he has hit and dev. He's only a 69 overall. So I'm going to look at the offensive line and see if he might possibly start or just back up for a year to develop computer drafted the rest of these guys so I haven't even looked at them yet but doesn't look like there's anybody who's hidden dev. Here's the lineup for the second season of the rebuild. The offensive line is still eh not so great. Logan Thomas is declining pretty fast so they yeah, probably have to figure out something to tie in after this season. So we got uh, Curtis Samuel at wide receiver 2. Carson Wentz is a 74. Antonio Gibson's up to 85. We got a uh, uh, superstar X Factor McLaren at wide receiver one on defense. Pretty much looks the same everywhere except for at safety. We got Cross starting. So we got Sauce Gardner, 79 overall as cornerback two. Uh, defensive tackle, uh, this defensive tackle drafted Pippen. He's going to be starting immediately. It's either him or Tim Settle, so I decided to go with him. At the midseason point, we are three and four third in the division let's see what kind of players that we could have available to bring back if we even got any money Kendall Fuller he wants one year 16 million 28 years old we actually got a little bit of cap room we got 57 million so we try to get him on a two year deal actually yeah let's go with two years and see if he takes this he needs a better salary okay. Antonio Gibson I do want to bring him back Four year deal, still five. Five years, 28 million. He's coming back. Montez Sweat. Let's see who else is over here. I'm gonna bring Montez Sweat back for sure. Try a five year deal. He's coming back. Cameron Curl. He's still only 24. I'll try to get him on this year deal let's try to get him on a five year deal he's coming back All right. William Jackson I think I'm gonna let him walk try to spend that money on someone younger Curtis Samuel same thing the end of the regular season we ended up going nine and eight again just like last year however this year we did not make the playoffs the Eagles won the division with 13 and 4 Giants were 9 and 8 the Cowboys were 6 and 11 here we got 19th ranked offense Carson Wentz had third most passing yards in the NFL 
seventh ranked defense. So this time it went backwards. We had good offense last year, bad defense. Now we got good defense, bad offense. McLaurin led the, the NFL in catches, yards, and touchdowns. Woo. Carson Wentz had a still a pretty decent year, just 19 interceptions. We really don't want to see all that, but still 4,800 yards, 33 touchdowns. Antonio Gibson, he must have got hurt. Yeah, he only played in 13 games, but still that's 13 games and he only had 628 yards. He averaged 48 yards per game. But at least this backup running back that we drafted last season, I think the computer drafted him. He, he did a pretty good job. Uh, uh, filling in for him, four yards per carry. Terry McLaurin, Storm McLaurin, Scary Terry, 1,400 yards, 108 catches, 15 touchdowns. Curtis Samuel, 1,000 yards, six touchdowns. Deami Brown, 936 and three touchdowns. Logan Thomas still putting up 600 yards, five touchdowns, even though he's been in the league for 10 years. On defense, we got Cole Holcomb leading the league or leading the. Our team in tackles 115, Jamie Davis 105, Sauce Gardner, he likes to get them tackles, he got 104, uh, TFL is Jonathan Allen 11, Chase Young 11, Caleb Pippen the rookie had 8 sacks, Chase Young led the team with 16 and a half, Montez Sweat 15 and a half, Jonathan Allen had 9 and a half at the defensive tackle slot, even rookie Pippen had 3 sacks. Interceptions, Cole Hookham had three, Kendall Fuller had three, Sauce Gardner had two. Pretty good defensive year, but no playoffs. So the Bears ended up making it to the Super Bowl against the Chiefs, and the Bears actually won the Super Bowl, and Justin Fields won MVP. Patrick Mahomes won regular season MVP. Robert Sala won Coach of the Year with the Eagles, and Arnold Ibikiti won defensive player of the year with the Cardinals looking at players to resign I need to try to bring back Kendall Fuller again because he didn't like the he likes the bonus and the duration just not the salary so jack up the salary here see if we can get him back on this two year deal he's coming back that's good I'm not sure if we're gonna bring anyone else back doesn't look like it pretty much a bunch of no 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 I'm looking at the team salaries to try to free up uh, some contracts. Logan Thomas, 33, 70 overall on the last year of his deal. So I'm going to go ahead and cut him. going to save us $6 million. So I decided I'm also going to go ahead and cut this left tackle, Leno Jr. He's on the last year of his deal. He's 32 years old with 77 overall. I'm going to save $12 million by cutting him. I'm going to try to sign Tyron Smith at left tackle. 33, but he's 91 overall with superstar parts. I think the only other player I'm going to go after in free agency is Trayvon Diggs. He's 26 years old. He's a superstar dev with 90 overall. And we should have enough money to sign him. Let me see if I can get him on a five year deal. 88 mil. That puts us in fourth. He wants a little bit more cheddar. We're going to throw him a little bit more cheddar here. So we ended up getting Trayvon Diggs, which is great, but uh, Tyron Smith rejected our offer. But we definitely got to find something else to fill that void at left tackle that we created by cutting our starter. Uh, Charles Leno is back, or he's still available. So if we want, really want to get him back, we can. Here we are in the draft uh, for year three of the rebuild. So 
skipping ahead here to our next pick. We got pick number 18 because we didn't make the playoffs. It's not the football team, it's the commanders, bruh. I'm gonna look around and see what we end up getting. So, since we ended up having to release our tight end, Logan Thomas, I think I'm gonna go ahead and draft this tight end so Carson Wentz can have another weapon to throw the ball to. He has great in every single uh, physical category skills. He has A awareness and A pass block, but we don't know anything about his ability to catch. So, just taking a, a, a chance here. He has hit and dev. Nice. Speed's 84, so pretty good pick. Here in the second round of the draft, we could really use another wide receiver, so I'm gonna go ahead and draft this wide receiver, Frank Williams. He has normal dev, but his speed is 95, acceleration 92, agility 92. So he's 23 years old, which is not great, but we're only gonna be on here for a couple more seasons, so. First time that we had a third round pick, this whole rebuild I'm gonna draft this right or left tackle here Telvin Red it's probably gonna be a normal dev but yep it is what it is here's the draft recap Marquise Lamb the tight end that we drafted in the first round is a 72 overall with hidden dev he has 84 speed 81 catching not a bad little pick Wide receiver we drafted in the second round is a 76 overall, 95 speed, 92 acceleration, 83 catching. Pretty good. This left tackle that I drafted is a 58 overall. Wow, this is straight terrible. Uh, quarter or the computer drafted the rest of these guys. They drafted this free safety David Torres. Got normal dev. This quarterback Connor rushing normal dev. This running back. Season three, starting lineup. Offensive line has pretty much been about the same the whole time. We got this uh, tight end Lamb that we drafted in the first round. He's gonna be the starter. Frank Williams, wide receiver that we drafted. He is gonna be uh, number two wide receiver, and I'm gonna have him start in the slot. Try to develop him quickly. On defense, we got Holcomb dropping down to star dev. Jamin Davis is getting better. Evans is getting better. This strong safety that we had drafted before, he's up to 79 overall. And we have Trayvon Diggs coming in at cornerback one, which pushes Fuller over to two. So our uh, corners are actually pretty stout. We got Sauce Gardner coming in here playing the slot. Defensive line looking pretty damn stout. Hopefully our defense can carry us this year or our offense can blow up. But the main thing is that we need both of them to do good. Because it's always one or the other. Here at the mid-season point, we're two and five. Seems like we always start off the first half of the season not so great with this two and five, two and four type of deal. So let's see what type of players we have that are available to resign. We got Chase Young again, coming off his fifth year option. Hit him with the five year hundred or five year ninety million dollars. He's coming back. Brandon Sheriff, one year thirteen million. Yeah, I'll definitely do that too. He's coming back. Punter Tress Way. Yeah, why, why not? He's 34 years old, but he still has uh, 96 kick power. Center Chase Rouye. One year, 8.7 mil. He's coming back. I think we're going to let Charles Leno watch. See if we can get another uh, left tackle. Left guard Sam Cosme. Yeah, might as well bring him back one. Deami Brown, two years, 5.5 mil. Yeah, might as well. Not a bad deal for a 77 overall, even or 76 overall, even though he has no more depth. We're gonna have Carson Wentz coming up. One year, 11 mil. He's gonna get cheap because he's not so great overall. So. Well, we finished the season 7 and 10, so it appears that we're on a steady decline as we get further into this rebuild. Definitely did not make the playoffs. Carson Wentz finished second in the NFL with 4,900 passing yards behind Patrick Mahomes. We got the sixth ranked offense. That means our defense was probably terrible. Tenth ranked defense. All right, well, 
guess we were a pretty well-rounded team. We just couldn't get wins. Carson Wentz, 4,900 yards, 30 touchdowns, three intercepts or 13 interceptions. Antonio Gibson, 800 yards, 3.7 yards a carry, eight touchdowns. Running game starting to get worse. Terry McLaurin had 1,300 yards on 100 catches, six touchdowns. Rookie tight end. Marquez Lamb had 82 catches for 1,000 yards, 4 touchdowns. Pretty damn good. Dami Brown had 925 yards, 7 touchdowns. Frank Williams had 56 catches for 610 yards. I wonder why I had him I had him starting in the slot and had him the uh, number 2 wide receiver. But maybe, did he get injured? Let's go back and look. He only played in 12 games, so yeah, he got hurt. So that means that they moved the depth chart around with the computer. Messed it all up. Demario Davis, middle linebacker, I brought in a free agency right before the season started at 105 tackles. Sauce Gardner had 97. CTFL, Jonathan Allen 13. Chase Young 11. Caleb Pippen 11. Caleb Pippen, the second uh, or the number two defensive tackle behind Jonathan Allen, had 10 sacks. Chase Young had 8 sacks. Jonathan Allen 7. Montez Sweat 5. Mario Davis had three interceptions. Trayvon Diggs had two. Sauce Gardner had two. So another disappointing season, not making the playoffs. Chiefs and the 49ers ended up playing in the Super Bowl, and the Chiefs won. Patrick Mahomes won MVP of the league and of the uh, Super Bowl. Urban Meyer won Coach of the Year. Demarcus Lawrence won Defensive Player of the Year with the Titans. Looking at players to re-sign before the free agency starts. We definitely got to bring back Carson Wentz. He's down to 71 overall. This is going to be the last uh, season of the rebuild because he's starting to get really bad. Uh, he only wants $5 million. That's uh, Thanks for the offer, but I'm not interested. Okay. Oh, we'll be bringing you back in a minute. Okay, buddy. All the rest of these guys, peace out. We are in free agency. Carson Wentz has no offers, so... I'm going to offer him the same crappy deal that we offered him before. And he can turn it down if he wants. But I'm going to try to get Aaron Donald. This is going to be the last season. We need to try to make this defense extra stout to carry this team here. He wants a crap ton more. All right. And I'll try getting you before another rebuild and you always turn me down, man. Turn me down this time, bro. Still wants way more money. Cheddar of Fedia. Now we got the first deal. I'm gonna go after Kevin Bayard here. Uh, he's a free safety right now, but if I get him, I'm gonna move him over to strong safety to upgrade the run support strong safety that we have. So we ended up getting Kevin Bayard and Carson Wentz back. Aaron Donald rejected my offer once again. He always lets me down, man. The last year that we're gonna be doing this rebuild, year number four. We got first round pick number 12. First round here, I'm looking at this wide receiver from Notre Dame, Brian Reynolds. Maybe he's related to Ryan Reynolds, the actor, who knows? Maybe he just came back uh, from the future to see himself or something. But he looks like uh, he might be pretty good. He has elite acceleration, elite agility. And I'm going to go ahead and draft him to see the like normal devs. But of course. In the second round of the draft, I'm looking at this outside linebacker. He looks like a coverage linebacker. He has A zone coverage and A man coverage. Dang, that's really good. And he has great and everything and elite speed. So we, uh, our linebacker that we have right now, that's a coverage linebacker. He is a... Uh, like hardcore so draft this guy oh he has hidden dev 88 speed nice pick first round pick brian reynolds wide receiver is a 76 overall he has normal dev obviously he has 93 speed looks like a pretty good receiver overall this right outside linebacker drafted in the second round david blatchford he is a 69 overall pass coverage 22 years old hidden dev it's a, the last season of the rebuild. I'm going to go crazy here and try to trade for Fred Warner from the 49ers. Uh, right now, I'm offering a first-round pick. They want to get some more in return. 
Maybe we can throw in Jamin Davis. Nah, that probably won't even work, but well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it went down even more. <laughs> All right, maybe we throw in a uh, second round pick. Getting close. Going. Let's try a second round pick next year with that. Bam, done deal. Here's the starting lineup for the last season of the rebuild. Tight end Lamb has developed up to 77. We got Frank Williams here at wide receiver two still. Uh, Carson Wentz is down to a 71 overall. He's really dropping off. Gibson's up to 87. McLaurin's still a 99 superstar X factor. We got Brian Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds' little brother over here at wide receiver three. On defense, we got Fred Warner at middle linebacker. Sean Evans at 87 overall outside linebacker. We got Kevin Bayard at strong safety. We got Curl at free safety. We got Trayvon Diggs, 91 at corner number one. We got Sauce Gardner, 85 overall at corner. I'm going to bump him up to be the number two. Four is going to be three. Defensive line is looking stout. This defense is looking pretty good. The only little weakness we have is this outside linebacker. But actually, you know what? I'm about to bump up that rookie that we drafted to be the starter. Here at the midseason point, we're three and four once again. Seems like we always get four losses all the time on this stuff. End of the regular season, we finished six and eleven. Completely terrible. We got worse as the season went on, or as the rebuild went on, we got worse every year. It seems like Carson Wentz led the league in passing yards, but we still didn't make the playoffs. Third ranked uh, offense in the NFL. Twenty fourth ranked defense. So defense didn't do good. Carson Wentz really hasn't been too bad like this whole rebuild with the offense that we're running. He had over 4,800 yards all four seasons, over 30 touchdown passes, but he also always had at least 13 interceptions too. So, but definitely, you know, way better than he did in his career any, any other time. So, Antonio Gibson had a thousand yards, four to uh, 4.2 per carry, 10 touchdowns. Terry McLaurin had 110 catches, 1,466 yards, 8 touchdowns. Frank Williams had 1,174 yards. Tight end Marquez Lamb had 911 yards, 8 touchdowns. Brian Reynolds had 358 yards, 3 touchdowns. <laughs> that name's funny. Cameron Curl led the team in tackles. Where the... Where's Fred Warner at? What the heck? How come he only got 50 tackles? Did he get hurt? He played in all 17 games, man. I had Adam set as the starter on all kinds of stuff on the depth chart. Peter came in here and messed it all up. Maybe that's the reason why we didn't make the playoffs. Chase Young had 26 tackles for loss. Montez Sweat had 20. Chase Young, 10 and a half sacks. Sauce Gardner had two interceptions. Let's look at Sauce Gardner's career while he was on the team real quick. He had a pretty damn good career over here two interceptions every year but his first year he had over 100 tackles twice pretty good corner all right well here's what the final team looked like we got uh dansby over here at left tackles out for a week so it's not showing him as a starter but and look at that carson wentz got bumped up to uh, star dead because he led the nfl in passing yards most likely yeah it's crazy five thousand yards season <laughs> that's funny defense Fred Warner is up here I don't know why dang look at this rookie uh, linebacker that we drafted has superstar X factor that was his hidden dev wow man of course he would come in the last season and do this but our defense looks freaking sick but for some reason they just couldn't put it together so. well hopefully y'all like the content I'm gonna try to put it out at least one video every week Maybe every once in a while I'll throw in a second one. But if y'all like it, please hit the like button, subscribe, uh, put something in the comments. Where do you think Deshaun Watson's going to go? Peace out.